In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add an internal name field to your Airbnb listing. Uh, Airbnb has recently or very secretly rolled out this option where you can add an internal name to every listing and it is just for your reference it is not visible to anyone or a guest who is looking at your listing or even staying in your listing uh, on the screen you can see I have these four listings under this profile and you can see Patrick lower level main level upper level entire house it just makes things easier for me to you know whenever I receive a notification I know ah, okay it is about this listing otherwise the names can be similar and it can get very confusing so to enable this, so by default, if you have created a new Airbnb profile and a listing, you won't get this internal field uh, on your listing. Let me just show you where you can find the internal field first. So this is your listing page and you go in the edit title and description. And the first field is the internal name. Um, this is where you can type in the name it is just visible for you no one else from outside right so this field is not available from default you need to do a quick tweak to be able to access this for that uh, we're going to go into your accounts page so you will click on the top right corner of the screen and you will see your image click on there and click on account once you are in the accounts page, click on professional hosting tools, which is the last box on the next page. And in here, you need to click on manage, which is the first option. You don't don't bother about allow me to email documents to guests. Click on manage uh, in front of the company. And the first option you will see is let me use professional tools. Uh, in this profile, I have already clicked that, but if you haven't, you can just, you will, you will see a red button exactly like this over here. Just click on use professional tools and that's it. After that, you will see two changes in your listings. So when you go on the listing page, you will see the internal name now available to you and you can populate that that's one change you will see after you've enabled the professional tools the second thing you will start seeing is if you've got multiple listings you will see a single view of all your listings or of, of the calendar this is the second change which you will see and I, I think it makes things a lot easier to view otherwise if you have four listings you will be scrolling through tabs to to understand what is going on in a week or a month so yeah this is how you can enable the professional tools and it lets you add internal name and uh, it gives you one single view of your calendar i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much